I'm Mike Quincy, and I'm here at Consumer Reports Auto Test Center. And this is the early review of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. So we bought the SEL model, which is a mid-trim model of the Santa Fe, which stickers at $38,250. We added the Serenity White Pearl Paint and a few other odds and ends. And the bottom line came out to $40,465. The Santa Fe was completely redesigned for the 2024 model year. It's always been a popular model at ConsumerReports.org, and for good reasons. It's roomy, fuel efficient, and a lot of value for the money. And just look at the styling. I mean, it really pops. Looks a lot like the Land Rover Defender, very angular and square. So in terms of just general design elements, certainly Hyundai is pushing their whole H theme. You can see the white H going across the front bumper here, the H in the headlights, and of course, the hood logo, which is H for Hyundai. Other news for the redesigned model is that all versions come standard with a third row seat. Hyundai also said there's more legroom for the second row passengers. The standard powertrain is a 277 horsepower, 2.5 liter turbo four cylinder. It's hooked up to an eight speed dual clutch automatic. The EPA estimates that it'll get 23 miles per gallon overall. There will also be an upcoming hybrid model. So not only did the exterior get a complete redesign, but the interior also was overhauled. And we're really pleased to see hard buttons for the drive system. The climate system gets rotary knobs to adjust the temperature. There's rotary tuning knobs for the radio and the volume, which just makes living with this car so much easier. Now the gear selector is something that you have to get used to. And we've seen this in a number of Hyundai models. Uh, it, 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 is, it has a rotary design where you, you push forward to put it into drive, you move it backwards to put it into reverse, and you push this button at the end to put it in a park. It will become familiar over time, but at first, it's a little awkward. So the screens in the new Santa Fe really look pretty amazing, it's very clear. There's 12.3 inch screens, both for the instrument cluster as well as the infotainment system. So everyday usability in the new Santa Fe is super convenient. I mean, you start out up here, you actually have two glove boxes, which is awesome. You've got lots of open storage right under the center console here. There's lots of room to store stuff. In the, in the top part of the center console, you've got rubber lined storage bins as well as a wireless charging pad and also another pad that'll hold another phone. You also have access to all of these charge plugs so things are real easy to, to just kind of live with this car on a day-to-day -day basis. So rear seat passengers will certainly appreciate that there are charge points built into the front row seat backs. And they also have access to the center console storage apartment, which not only opens on the front, but also opens from the back. So the Santa Fe is available with six or seven passenger seating. Our SEL model came with a second row bench seat and it's relatively easy to get to the third row. There's a little button on top of the seat back, pushes the seat forward, and you scamper back. As is the case with a lot of three row SUVs in this class, third row seating for an adult is pretty tight. So if you're using the third row seat for passengers, keep in mind, there's not a lot of storage space behind it. But if you fold down the second and third row seats, you get a huge and flat cargo area. We're pleased to see that the 2024 Santa Fe comes standard with automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, automatic emergency braking that operates at highway speeds, blind spot warning, and rear cross traffic warning. So our first impressions of the new Santa Fe show that it's a pretty complete package, but we'll know more after we put it through a whole battery of tests, including braking, acceleration, and handling here at our 327 acre test facility. So stay tuned for more on the redesigned Santa Fe.